Hi, today I'm going to be showing you KubeBench, our tool for checking whether or not your Kubernetes cluster is configured according to the recommendations from the Centre for Internet Security. The CIS publishes a benchmark for Kubernetes. There's some variants of that benchmark for managed Kubernetes services. Uh, there, there's a variant for GKE and uh, very soon to be published, there will be one for Amazon's EKS. And today I've been looking at a PR that we've had from Parvin over at AWS, which implements that variant of the tests. Uh, so it's a test configuration file for uh, running KubeBench on EKS. So if I want to run a Kubernetes job to run KubeBench on an EKS cluster, I'm probably going to do something like this. Now, one thing to be aware of is this job is going to be pulling an image from somewhere. Uh, likely, it's going to be your ECR registry, your registry within AWS. So you'll need to modify the address of this image to your own registry. You're going to have to uh, get the KubeBench image, either build it yourself or pull it from the Docker Hub version that we publish, tag it to your own ECR registry, push it to that registry, and then you can refer to it in the KubeBench uh, YAML. And obviously this identifier will be unique to your registry. And then this is the command that we're going to run in this job. So it's running KubeBench and we're specifying that we're going to run the EKS variant of the tests. So if we apply that job, or apply that YAML rather, And let's look at the pods. And we can see that the, the job has already run that pod and it's, it's completed already. And we can get the output from QBench by looking at the logs from that file. So there we are, we can see nothing failed. We've got one warning, uh, that's looking pretty good. Now, if you do have any problems running KubeBench, one of the things you might want to do is turn on debug logging to get a lot more information. So let me show you that quickly. I'm just gonna change the name of this job. We'll call it debug so that I don't have to delete the old one. And let's uncomment out this line. Comment out that one. So you can see uh, we're running the same KubeBench command. In fact, my highlighting is not a great color here, is it? We're running with uh, dash V for the level of logging. So we're setting that to three. And we're also specifying log to standard error. And then the remainder of the parameters are as before. We're running uh, benchmark EKS 1.0. I've actually specified we're specifically going to just run the node tests here. In fact, when it gets scheduled to a worker node, well, a node that's only running the kubelet, uh, kubebench will spot that it's only running the kubelet and it will run the tests appropriate to that, uh, to that node. So actually having node here is, is kind of redundant, but it doesn't matter. So if I run this job, I can use the same command, but you, you know that I've changed the, uh, the name of the job. And let's, we should see, there we go. There's the debug version of this job, has its own pod. And we can look at the logs from that. And we'll see not just the results, but also a lot of um, debugging information. So if you have any problems running KubeBench, you might be able to diagnose the issues yourself with these logs, or you might send those to us, uh, attach those to a GitHub issue so that we can help you out with any problems. I hope that's helpful. I hope you're running KubeBench to check for any uh, bad configuration. So yeah, go ahead and run KubeBench. You can find that on GitHub at Aqua Security KubeBench. And, uh, yeah, we're very happy to get feedback.